Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Starfield. Uh, we're back at the lodge today for a couple of reasons. First, I want to talk to Vasco here. I hope you are satisfied. I hope you are satisfied with the core. Uh, because I noticed this stuff here. You. I was wondering if you could like assign people stuff on my ship, and so we're gonna try it with Vasco here. I will proceed to my assigned post. Right. Manage your crew, review and change their assignments between your ship and outpost. Different crews have different sk skills which enhance your ship or outpost. So the Frontier, we'll assign that. And Sarah's an assigned, we'll assign it to the Frontier as well. And that's about it. Okay, so the second reason why I came back is to store some stuff. Uh, last time, in the last video, we did some side missions in our own New Atlantis. And in one of those, I picked up some contraband, which is here. This mech components. It's worth a lot. Uh, I tried putting it on the floor of my ship, but it still got detected as contraband. So we're just going to leave it for now. I'm not sure if we can use it in some way in the future or if it's just something that we sell. So I'm just going to leave it here for now until we figure out what to do with it. So uh, the plan for this video is to do some of the main quests because we haven't done the main quest in a while. So we're gonna just go down this list. We're gonna go back to uh, Vectera to find Barrett. And we're I'm just gonna fast travel there, so I'll probably cut this part out. It appears things have gone downhill since the last time you were here. Argos has clearly washed its hands of this operation. Okay. Well, you're back. Lynn! Oh no, don't start. I've had enough Barrett for one lifetime. I don't need the sequel showing up on my doorstep. <laughs> <A> sequel. <laughs> More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Calvert, Troy, some of the new Dusties. They didn't make it. Uh, I'm sorry, Lynn, I didn't know. Well, how could you have? You weren't here. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lin. I got you. That doesn't sound good. Not for them, anyway. Oh, okay. <laughs> Barrett is more dangerous than you might think. Next thing I know, two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock. Drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate <laughs> Newton's third law on this guy's temporal law. Oh, uh, Barrett's that's awesome. when they brought out Hella. <sighs> uh... Of course, Heller got captured just his luck. Oh, Heller's the first guy that we met in the t in the uh, intro. Uh, okay, yeah, of course, Heller got captured just his luck. I didn't overhear everything, but after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up, and both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship, and that's the last I saw of either of them. I need to find Barrett and Heller, Lynn. They could have grav jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them. <sighs> I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up. Okay. Fix the comms computer. I have something I need with you. Uh, okay. I have an important personal decision to make, but I need to discuss something with you first. If it'll help you this if it'll help you decide I'm here to listen. Phew, thank you. So, where to start? Um before I was with the Navigator Corps, I was career military, part of the United Colonies Navy. When the colony war broke out, I was posted as the chief navigator on a warship 
the Dauntless. Making Chief Navigator sounds like quite an accomplishment. Well, the position didn't last long. There was a particularly bloody battle. We were fighting over a world in the Aether Cassiopeia system. Worst fighting I'd ever seen. We lost 12 ships that day. 12. Including my own. Hundreds of lives must have been lost. I'm well aware how many lives were lost. Now <laughs> let me finish. The ship was barely intact. The captain and first mate died the previous day, which put me in command. A shrewd captain would have called for the crew to abandon ship. But I was so angry. I wanted to stay. I needed to fight. Despite the, damage you're still, you're, despite the damage, your ship still had the ability to fight. The Dauntless was a tough little ship. No shields and the hull was breached, but it still had power. And weapons. That's why I remained in the battle. Huge mistake. I don't know what I would have done. Well, I didn't have the luxury of indecision. I had to act. We fought for hours, but the damage was fatal. I gave the order to abandon ship and the crew piled into the escape shuttle. As the shuttle launched, I could see it was damaged. I... I heard screams before the radio cut. The last thing I saw, they were... spiraling helplessly towards the planet's surface. There was... There was nothing I could do. I'm sorry you had to go through that. You're sorry. For me? If I hadn't been so stubborn, so eager to prove that I could handle command, my crew would have had more time to escape. Your crew knew what, knew what they were getting into when they signed up. Yes. They expected to serve on the best ships with the best captains. The crew of the Dauntless had to settle for me. When the dust settled, the United Colonies gave me a medal. Can you believe that? A damn medal! I never even had a chance to find the shuttle wreckage and give my crew a proper burial. You can't blame yourself for what amounts to bad luck. Bad luck? That sounds familiar. You once told me, no matter how hard you fight, there are some battles you simply can't win. I wish I had heard your advice long ago. Don't you get it? Everything I do, everything I touch, somehow falls apart. That's why I'm worried about us. You can't get rid of, you can't get rid of me that easily. <laughs> All this nonsense and you still have faith, eh? You really care about me, don't you? We're partners. I'll always have your back, Sarah. And I'll have yours. All right, partner. I suppose it's time we get back to work. Thank you for being there, for listening to me when I needed it the most. I'll never forget this. I Jesus, promise. didn't expect that. I was just gonna kill some pirates and save Barrett, but then you had to tell me your entire backstory and be a downer on things. Jesus, Sarah. And I like how I could flirt with her there. It's like, oh, you got all your crew members killed? So that means you're single, right? <laughs> it's like, what? Uh, fix the comms. 
uh... Right. Let's go. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Industrial workbench. The industrial workbench allows you to create basic manufactured components which can be used for building structures for your outposts and crafting mods for your weapons and equipment. The raw resources used for manufactured, manufactured components can be acquired from planets and moons by starting a outpost and setting up resource extractors. More advanced manufactured components can be created from fabricators at an outpost. Uh, would I? Okay, I probably need some of these to fix the computer. So I'm gonna hold off for now. Uh, okay. If I do this... Does this work? Okay. Got it. I hope there was a good reason that was locked. Comms computer activates. Uh... Unpowered. Look for a power source. You know some auxiliary power banks in the next room. They appear to be use standard power cells. Did you pick? Loot everything. Watermelon. Gotta start a farm, just like Fallout. Um. Power cell required. Wait, don't tell me you just had to replace the battery and you're like, oh, the cams don't work, I can't track their location. Lynn? <laughs> Can I make power cells here? Uh... No... Oh, so many waypoints. Obtain three power cells. It says optional, but I guess we'll try it. We'll do it anyways. Wait. A loading robot used as cover in a firefight. Check for power cells. For a single power cell. And... You wanna try fixing that computer? Go ahead. I'm packing up Dusty. What a mess. I need the power cell to repair the comms computer. Don't see what good it will do since they're already gone, but fine. Here. You need any more? Feel free to scavenge around. Uh, you alright, Lynn? I'm fine, Dusty. In this line of work, you make do, even when the worst happens. Okay. And then last one's in... Here? Sorry, I had to pause there for a sec. Uh... Examine. Search for power cells. Uh, Computer, Lynn? Really? 
Okay, emer uh, incoming ship logs. Event zero, constellation ship incoming. Event one, alert unidentified ship pirates incoming. Alert unidentified ships pirates incoming. Event three, constellation ships incoming. Emergency transmission. Can't believe we got into this mess. Would you be quiet? Trying to make out the grab jump calculations before we're out of range. Out of range of what? Out of range of the sensor array on Vectera. Would you keep up? Once we're outside the star system, the bandwidth goes from instant speed to effectively never. <laughs> what good is sending a transmission down there? You gonna tell Lynn how royally screwed we both are? She doesn't even have a ship. Do you underestimate how many of my admirers there are in the galaxy, Heller? One of them is bound to show up. Looking to reunite with this handsome face. We're doomed. Capital D, doomed. Got it, okay. Whoever finds this, I'm attaching the interstellar coordinates to the metadata on the transmission. Rescue us. Repeat. Rescue us. Okay, let's go rescue them then. I guess we're gonna talk to Lynn first. So, you actually get that computer working again? I found a transmission from Barrett. What? Let me see that. <laughs> Funny. Even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. <laughs> Hella, on the other hand, Okay. Let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? Uh, why don't you come with me? <laughs> what? Really? Uh, not really cut out for whatever it is people like you and Barrett do. But it might not be a bad time to think about a career change after... all this. If you have room in your crew for an outpost nice. supervisor, maybe we can talk. I knew it. You care about them. You're a softy. Well, don't start buying me stuffed animals for my birthday or anything. But yes, all right. I don't like seeing my people hurt. Even Barrett and Hella. Just get after them, okay? And hey, if you ever need a little extra help, I've been thinking about a career change lately. Maybe it's time to put Argos behind me. <laughs> you already told me that, but okay. Seems like you've been keeping busy, Dusty. Outpost management. If uh, you find yourself in need of a capable traveling companion, we should talk. My contract's up with Argos, and I could use a change of scenery. What kind of things can you do for me? If you give me an outpost to run, I'll have it optimized for rapid material production in no time. I can make myself useful in other ways, too. I'm a good hand with explosives, and you'll never hear me complain about carrying a heavy pack. You're just the kind of traveling companion I want. You should come along. Works for me. I'm not fussy about assignments. I'll go where I'm needed. Okay... Change supervisor's assignment to Frontier... Yeah, I guess. It's funny how it says 1 out of 2 when there's 3 people here. I guess I'll just right. leave her there for now. I'll get to work. Let's catch up later. Okay, travel to Altair 4B. So I'm going to go back to my ship and I'm actually going to have to end the video here. I have to stop for a little bit and I'll continue when I get back. So, where to next? Oh, there you are, Lynn. 
Okay, so I'm gonna end it here for now. Okay, I'm back. Let's go save Barrett and Heller. Oh, uh, before I forget, I'm just going to change the mode to hard. Yeah, that's all. Um, and then we're just gonna fast travel there, I guess. Can we? Uh, set course. Yes. E. -E. Jump. Yeah, I can Will wait. You read to me tonight before bed. Okay, crash ship. Landing initiated. Short Oh yeah, let's take Vasco Hello, for a bit. Captain. I'd like you to follow me for a while. Yes, Captain. I am right behind you. I'll get back to what I was doing. You know where to find me. Yeah, so it's good that they're on the actual ship as a crew, so I can kind of just like switch them out whenever I need them. Is that where I'm headed? I'm very, yep. Anything here for me to mine? Lithium. I haven't really encountered any places that I really, really want to build outposts yet. So I think I'm going to hold off on that for now. No, oh, whatever, let's go. Guns ready. It's the crash. Who's this? Oh, Helen. Oh, hey, it's you. And here I thought you were some pirate coming back to kill me. Lucky me, right? I'm a hallucination, Heller. Your last thoughts are apparently of me. Uh, you see, I laugh, but I'm on a lot of bets. <laughs> Kinda just... mellows everything. Man, I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. There it was all. Sorry, brother. I'll get us out of this. Trust me. So he had a plan then? Mm, not <laughs> what you and I would call a plan, necessarily. Trust me is my go-to line when someone shouldn't trust me. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to see that. He tells me we need to start pretending to fight each other. <laughs> Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. That's not a bad plan, I actually. Just remember him shouting, This kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these hurly whites? He's gonna bite my face <laughs> off. I mean, I didn't think it would work, but they came in. All of a sudden, we were wrestling with two of them. Barrett reached for one of their guns. And he shot some. And he shot something he shouldn't have. Bingo. Blasted the pilot right in the back. 
through to the flight console. And dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. I blacked out. And when I came to, there he was, smiling like it was just another day on the job. You missed the fun part, Heller. I mean, I go through all the trouble of saving your butt, and you weren't even awake to notice. Then he did the little finger gun thing. <laughs> No, no way, no, don't skip that. Um, you really survived the crash without a scratch? Well, no, I don't think so. I caught him holding his ribs a few times. Favored his left leg a bit, you know? Baron isn't here, I need to find him. Oh, yeah. Probably should have <laughs> talked about that first. <laughs> did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? So, I was real excited when a ship showed up. <laughs> then, less excited when I realized it was a Crimson Fleet ship. And then, really, really less excited when Barrett said, It's okay, I got this. He mumbled something to him, and then they were all gone. They took him? Why? I was drifting in and out. But, uh, I think I heard the word ransom. The Crimson Fleet has him, again. I was drifting in and out, but, yeah, I think so. Got a signal from the ship before they grab jumped. Guessing it was Barrett. <laughs> Haven't really been in a good <coughs> space. Oh, so they jumped again. Here you go. Hey, uh, uh, I should come with you, right? I don't think anyone else is coming. Uh, rescue is coming soon. Just stay here for a bit. <laughs> um, let's get you on your feet first. Yeah. Just uh, don't ask me to operate any heavy machinery for a while. Uh, give me a minute. I think the worst of it is... Yeah, I'll be alright. I'll be alright. Ready to wisecrack with the best of them. Let me know when you want to head out. Oh, recruit Heller as crew. Definitely doing that. Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. Do I have a spot though? I have a lot of people on my ship right now. <laughs> um, yeah, let's get going. Oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. For a second there, I thought you were going to leave me behind. What's on the agenda today? Uh, crew from any location can be assigned to a landed ship. Uh, no, no assignments are currently available for Heller. Can I... Oh, I guess... You got it. Catch you on the flip side, boss. Thanks for letting me tag oh, along. At least he's still tagging along. <laughs> Let me just grab some stuff. Okay. New items. Emergency transmission. You've given the fleet a lot of trouble, Barrett. Hey, since when is surviving being attacked causing trouble? Isn't that just fighting back? Hey, pilot. Could you move your arm a little bit to the left? I can't make out the console. Don't move! Trying to figure out our destination. Probably transmitting this conversation right now while we're still in orbit. Well, yeah. Thought I was making that pretty obvious. Okay, okay. Put the gun down. I'm done. See? My retinas are pointing away from the console towards this lovely view of space we have out the window. Time up. Once we get back to the base, the fun starts. Oh, my ship's all the way over there. Is he gonna be okay? There's no Terramors on here, are there? 
<laughs> Vessel 3. Let's jump there. It seems I'm always coming to the rescue. You are one of the strangest creatures I've ever met. A veritable anomaly. Do I have to? <sighs> Fine. Private Psy says, <laughs> No more passing messages. Decorum, Marines. <laughs> so, command signed off on our unauthorized training mission. Sadly lost some men, but training accident happened to the best of us. Uh, here anything from the Free Star Militia? Captain Torres got promoted. Sent us a goodie basket. Most of it was confiscated by customs. But there was a keg of good Aquila City beer. We raised a glass in his honor. Actually, more than one. That was one hell of a training mission. Honored to go through it with you. I stand by it. You'd make a hell of a Marine. But, uh... Damn proud to know you too. Command's shipping us off to parts unknown, but would you accept a final parting gift? I'll take it, but we might bump into each other again. It's a nice thought, but the galaxy's a big place. A lot of good people owe you their lives. Maybe one day, some of us can return the favor. Myung out. Anti-personal coachman added. <clears throat> okay, uh, where am I going now? <laughs> ransacked, uh, ransacked research outposts. Let's try to land there. Game of three, ready to land. <laughs> Camera angles. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, let's check what we just got. Oh, it's just a normal shotgun. Um, yeah, I think we have ammo for that. Yeah, let's just put it on. Okay. Do they know I'm here already? are they shooting at? The enemy has returned. Vasco, apparently. Get out of here. Someone has a strong gun. Oh shit. Let's get in here. Nova light. Par epic particle beam pistol. Okay. And I have one did you pick? Um
Oh, did I mess that up? No. And then... Nice. Uh, let's see that pistol that we just got. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna find you. Are you now? Wow, my aim was shit. <laughs> Standing there? Hmm. There's someone that's really strong there. <laughs> or... At least with a lot of bullets anyways. Let's go this way. Oh, bullshit is this? I want to. That was <laughs> okay. Just heal up first, and now she's just gonna see what kind of uh, stuff I have here. Inferno mine, frag grenade. That's good. Uh, aid. Anything that reduces damage. Bit of those. Yep, I'll take one of that. Ooh, drugs. Oh crap. <laughs> Ooh. Let's see who's up here. That's the best you can do. Uh, yep. Yeah. That is Rover. You brought a gun to a knife fight, or a sword fight in this case. Good God, this guy's tanky. Okay, let's hide here for a sec. Let's take those. Who's shooting at? Hurt? Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. Oh, so this is the actual outpost. Shit. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. There's no certainty to the universe at all. Once you really start getting out there, the laws of physics kind of turn into suggestions. You're pulling my leg again, right? No exaggerations this time. Matsura. Hmm. Hey. Unicorn. Now. Wait. Unicorn 
there with the magic horn thing? Come on. <laughs> Can I get behind them? Holy shit. You actually found me. Barrett is unharmed. The statistical probability of this scenario has once again defied all known mathematical <laughs> models. Well, this is turning into a regular constellation party, isn't it? I should have brought drinks. I'm here to take you home, Barrett. You know, it's actually been kind of nice. Matsura the Grim here is a great host. No sense letting people's last moments be unpleasant. <laughs> See, that's what I like about you, Matsura. Real renaissance man. I have enjoyed our time together, Barrett. But I can't just let you go with nothing to show for it. Is Constellation willing to pay ransom in exchange for this man's freedom? Hasn't Barrett been enough trouble? Just let him go. You want me to end all this with nothing to show for it? Look, Barrett is more trouble than he's worth. A lot of pirates are already dead. All the more reason I need to make sure I'm compensated. If you want bloodshed, you would have attacked already. Don't assume because I haven't pulled my gun that I won't. You clearly get along with Barrett, your friends. He has been more entertaining than most hostages. Neither of us wants to risk the worst happening. Nobody wants that. Now we're getting somewhere. I'm still willing to talk. There's no reason for us to have a problem, is there? This isn't getting us anywhere. Enough. I must insist on payment for Barrett's release. You're a pirate. This only ends in one way. Wait, 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 wait. We're all citizens of the universe here. No one needs to die. Well, I mean, no one else. Listen to your friend. I'm trying to be reasonable. Fine, let's talk about this ransom. Yes, let's. Take your time. Neither of us are going anywhere. Mm. I've got nothing to say to you. It's not so bad here. Although I wouldn't mind if you could talk Matsura. Matsura's in charge. You're lucky the boss is so generous. Got nothing to say to you. Okay. So... Should have taken the persuasion check, loser. Okay. Mm they had like nothing. Well, uh, I can't say I feel too bad about you killing someone who kidnapped me and probably murdered a lot of people. But. Who was that pirate anyway? Matsuo the Grim? Honestly, a pretty nice guy as far as pirates go. I think I butted heads with his mentor once years back. Had the same kind of surprisingly hospitable vibe. You were just laughing up the whole time? 
Hey, you're underselling my harrowing escape from certain doom here. A little charm goes a long way when the knives are out. I'm in Constellation now. How did you know I'd end up joining? Honestly, I was kind of rolling the dice with you. But hey, sometimes a bet pays off. Uh, do you mind if I ask you some personal questions? Please, go on. So, about your artifacts. I think about it a lot. There's so many possibilities. Some wonderful, some terrifying. I'm not a fearful man, but I am just a man. And I'm keenly aware that this artifact could change my life. Or end it. Uh, I'm not too interested right now. Well, okay then. Matsura's bodyguard. Matsura the Grim. Okay, or I uh, guess we're out of here. <laughs> Star Roamer Space Helmet. Allow me it. to assist in carrying some supplies. Yeah, I didn't really understand how that persuasion thing worked until now, uh, when I failed. But yeah, <laughs> should be a little bit... Now, uh, basically now I get it. <laughs> Oh, they're back. Is this just this one guy? <laughs> Where'd he go? <laughs> oh, am I over encumbered? Oh, did he run away? Damn it. Come on. Okay, so what's next? Return to the lodge into the unknown. Talk to Vladimir. Sarah has asked me to go to your eye, a star station that Constellation owns in the orbit of Jemison. I need to meet with Vladimir Saul about finding more artifacts in the fringes of space. Let's go to that one. He did. Want to hear a poem I wrote? It's called a haiku. I just read about them. A haiku, huh? Well, sounds exciting. Let's hear it. Okay. It's called Space. <coughs> space is cold and dark. Right, slow down. Starships fly there like comets, carrying us home. It's not bad. Hey, will you write it down so I can carry a copy with me? I'll copy down too. You know Duck. how you lose things. I still don't know how you lost that picture of Nibbles the Comet Eating Bunny. And you didn't even scratch the paint. Is Barrett even in here with me? <laughs> This is nice. This looks like uh, <laughs> my Subnautica base. Okay, guess I'm walking all the way back. Vladimir. We got a rook on deck. 
Good to see Constellation getting some fresh blood. And here I thought I was the only one in Constellation who worked out. Nice arms. Ah, gotta pass the hours on the star station somehow. And the iron's always been good to me. Wish I could have been down at the lodge to see the artifacts come together. But I got a little lost peeking through the eye. Peeking through the eye? More pirate talk? That one's all on me. The eye is the nickname for the star station. Think of it as one big telescope. Someone should have grabbed you. It was incredible. <laughs> Probably would have just gotten annoyed at being bothered. I'll catch a smile at our next big revelation. You know there's more to come. Now, this station, the eye, rigged up for deep space scans. Barrett and Sarah teased out the signs of where our artifacts could be hiding after we caught our second one. But the data takes a slow ride along the Sea of Light. Years or decades between us and the fringes of space without a grav drive. Understood. I need to check on these leads in person. You won't be the only constellation out there. Andresia and Matteo are both following up on scans themselves. Matteo went out recently, but Andresia... It's been a while. Hate to pull the worried old man act on you, but... I'm an old man, and... I'm worried. Uh, I'll keep an eye out for her. She should be at one of the two sites I've marked on your star map. Can take care of herself, but... We all need backup sometimes. Anyway, hopefully you'll be catching Fortune's smile, and we'll have some more artifacts to take a closer look at. Happy hunting. Mm. Okay. Do you visit the lodge often? I make the visit when they need me. Don't mind the loner's life most days, and the eye is important work. But I should make the trip more often. Can't let Walter be the only one tending bar there too long. Everyone will forget what a good drink tastes like. I didn't know that. I didn't really talk to Sarah about it that much. <laughs> um, how'd you get mixed up with Constellation? Ever run the scholars on the Centaurus Proclamation? The original treaty that gave every human the right to colonize the stars? Stolen by some fool's joke of a crimson fleet rook looking to trade names to captain. Sight to see pinned above my chair, like the whole settled systems was mine for the taking. Time dances its years forward, and I'd retired. That's when our own Sarah Morgan walks into the tale. Fire in her eyes and her head full of intel I thought I had spent the labor's efforts burying. Of course, I didn't have the Centaurus proclamation just lounging in my pockets. Belonged to the ship and her new captain in the fleet I had left behind. Tipped your ear long enough, but the short line of it, Sarah and I returned the treaty to the rightful owners, and I decided to hang around, lend an old pirate's wisdom to the mission. If you don't want to talk, we don't have to. <laughs> Um, so you retired from the Crimson Fleet. Didn't know what happened. You didn't know that doesn't. happened. I'm overdrawn from Lady Luck three times over. It's a long tale to tip your ear on. But if you ever wanted to visit, I have a house out there in the Starfield. Oh, nice. Thought I was going to see life's eclipse from there, but... Constellation swept me away. Haven't been there since we started on the eye. If you do go there... Turn the lights off when you leave, okay? Nice. Visit Vladimir's house. Uh, okay. I guess that's done. <laughs> so, I always keep trying to run back to my ship, but I forget I can just, like, fast travel. Um, I'm just gonna go back to the lodge and... 
finish up this quest and then I'll end the video there. And then I'll probably continue uh, going to the next part. Next part, I'll probably go to do the uh, undercover thing with the uh, for the Crimson Fleet. I see. Oh, what was it trying to say? And where did Vasco go? Don't know. Okay, good. Whatever. <laughs> Let's go back into the lodge. Okay, enter the library. Sorry for the wait, everyone. Got a little held up on Vectera. Barrett, we were worried sick. Well, some of us were. I see what you did there, Walter. And I know you've been secretly crying into your piles of money just waiting for my return. Actually, Walter has been complaining about you more than usual, which is always a sign when he's worried. Don't start, country. Wait, is that? <laughs> and to think the first artifact was taking up dust on the library shelf. Now look at them all. I've occasionally had my feel it a bit, can't you? Ever since I found the second one, now, had well, the visions. Being around them is just comforting. So hey, I I'm still not a hundred percent. Plus, I feel guilty dragging you into all of this. Why don't I stick around and help you get adjusted to the weird corners of the universe? If you're coming with me, who's in charge of the frontier? It doesn't really matter to me. We never get too attached to ships. After the fifth or sixth time one blows up and you get marooned. The romance fades. Plus the frontier is a constellation ship. And you're one of us now. So it's just as much yours as mine at this point. Traveling together sounds good to me. Marvelous. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.